Hey guys, welcome to Code SLS, and today we'll be going to do some design, and our, and we'll be going to design our app's logo. So let's get started with this video. I would highly recommend you to watch the previous video if you haven't watched it. But if you want to continue with this video, that is perfectly fine because today we'll be only be doing designs only. So let's get started with the video. So for the first for the for the first part of this video, we'll be doing uh, we'll be designing our logo for our true color clone and i think i have also like thought about some some uh, unique name for our uh, this true color clone app so i would like i would i would also uh, mens mention that to you in this video so let's get started with this video so i have i have been i'll be I'll, I'll be going to use canva for this uh, logo design so let's get started so I have, what i've done i've created a new file and in this new file i chose the logo canvas of this canva so let's get started with this video so I've I've already choose these two color codes for logo design. So what I'll do is just copy this code, and I'll give this code to this canvas. So its background is like of this color. So you can also like I'll mention all these documents and stuff in our description. So you can just copy from that and you can uh, implement your own. So yeah, that's not an issue. Then we'll put a logo which as our app is about true color clone and. I think we need a f phone icon something like that. So I I've, I've like already got this icon from Google. I my I think I've found this on some website. I don't remember its website, so I'll just copy and paste it. So yeah, it's here, and from here we can change its color. So I'll change it to this color. So yeah. So this is so this is going to be our logo. So let me download this logo first. It always seems impossible unless unless it's done. Yeah. Okay. So the logo is downloaded. Now what we'll do is now we will be going to create some of the designs. Some of the wait. We'll be going to design some of the uh, design of our screen or our app. So for that, we'll go to Figma. Yeah. So we'll be designing our app on Figma. So for so so let's start with the Figma. In Figma, we'll have to first select a frame. So for the frame, you can select any of these mentioned device. I'll use for Google to Pixel. Sorry, Google Pixel to Excel, and we'll give it a corner radius of 50. Then we'll give it will like divide entire screen into grids for that go to layout grid select this column give it a margin of 30 it's on you but i'll give it a 30 and let's give it a six column let's give it i think i will do not need that kind of stuff so let's give it a five so now we'll give it a background color so what we'll do is we'll copy this color and fill it with this color now hide this grid for now and as we need to make a like a splash screen so for the splash screen we'll first use our logo that we just created scale it to down scale it down put it here so it's not exactly in center because we want to put a text as well so true color clone we'll use poppins font bold style 30 size and we'll give it a color white wrap this and just put it in center so So I think our first screen is done. Give it a name splash screen. Now create another oh now create another frame. Give it fifty. Give it a color. 
2a to b to a and now let's so okay so for this screen we'll be implementing a sign up screen so in sign up screen we'll have multiple fields so first field that is in my mind is a phone number then the other will be name of user then we'll have another field uh, then there will be a one uh, sign up button then we'll have put will put something like already have an account and we'll ask for ct name as well of a user for the sake of it we are not going just like a user detail something like that so what we'll do is we'll get a rectangle put it in here do it exactly 50 50 make it a bit smaller and give this a color to a to b to d and give this a white color all right now let's have another rectangle and from here We'll create something to here for like putting in putting it putting this rectangle in like exact precision will show layout grid this column give it a 30 margin the exact specification that we have used for this one let me just confirm it yeah, 30 now will settle these two yeah. give it a margin of 20 give it a color of white and we'll going to add some drop shadow so go to effect drop shadow and drop shadow will use 50 percent let's add oh sorry let's okay so you can try different combination of it and get it to the point where it looks like it matches the way you want think I need to I think it looks fine so let let's hide the grid again now let's put this yeah also now we'll copy this paste it here give it a color black sign wrap it around put it in center we'll give it a 24 size yeah bit below oh, yes it's perfect now we'll choose another rectangle right and we'll like again we'll enable the grid and we'll use this much but it doesn't look so we'll go till half of it and half of it 
Yeah. Yeah, we are in exactly center. Now, um, let me disable it again. Give it a color white. Give it a stroke. Stroke color will be 2A, 2B, 2A. Black, give it a radius 10. Just, yeah. will put text in it which will be saying enter your mobile number for this we'll be using light pop in light one like 15 is font size Yeah, I think it looks it looks perfect. Now why I did this I'll show you. Oh I'll use plus ninety one. Rapid oh. select it and put it here plus ninety one. Yeah. yeah. So plus nineteen one is nothing but a code. a code so let me go for another field so as I told you that will be getting name of the user so we'll create another field copy this paste it from here enter your name full name so yeah then we'll copy this again and put this entirely again yeah and now we'll ask for enter your city name now will put a button button on top of it will sign up the user so for that we'll have another shape of it just copy and paste it make it a bit smaller give it fill it with this color put white text on it sign up wrap it put it in center So our button is ready. A bit smaller.
so sign up is done now let's put the text which will be used for whenever we want to like if, if user is already registered then we need not uh, let user sign up again so we'll uh, redirect it to sign in when whenever the user tap on this thing this already let's just change this color because we are not able to see already have an account fifteen light make it a bit bigger yes already have an account so whenever user taps on it will redirect it user to our uh, sign in screen yes so I think I uh, sign up screen is done so now let's, let's move forward to sign in screen so now for the sign in screen so sign in screen will be exactly like this just we'll have to make few okay we'll remove this because we need not like have this don't have an account sign in okay so in sign in we will only ask for this mobile number and sign in and don't have an account so whenever the user clicks on this don't have an account will redirect the user to the sign up screen and whenever a user taps on already have an account will redirect the user to sign in screen so i think that's it for this video uh, in the next video we'll create a verify otp screen uh, then we'll create a details uh, user detail um, sorry list of users register user screen and we'll create a di little dialogue so on click of it we, uh, um, the user will be able to see the details of the other users available on true caller or on our app not true caller but on our app so i think that's it for the video thank you guys if you have any query if you have any suggestions if you have anything in mind just comment down below you can also mail us at mail to code mail to code hustlers at the gmail.com thank you guys